Your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. We're talking about authentic revival. Perhaps you've heard some of the news reports about the excitement that some people have about revival. And while we admire people who want to search for deeper spiritual meaning, we need to ask the question, how do we recognize authentic revival and how do we bring about real revival? And one of the things that we find is that we've got to go back to the book. We saw in a previous study that in the days of Josiah, they had lost the book. They had lost the book in the house of God. There are many people who've lost the book, so to speak. They might have a Bible in their house, but they don't study it. But there's another aspect to this that I want us to think about. And that is that we need Bible authority for everything we do. Well, I know that I want to do this for the glory of God, and I love God, and therefore I want to do it. Listen to Jesus. He would say, all authority has been given to me both in heaven and on earth. Matthew chapter 28 and verse number 18. That means he has universal authority, which also means that there is universal accountability. Everyone must answer to Jesus. That includes me. And if I want to see real revival, then I need to be the kind of person who opens my eyes to the teachings of Jesus, to the teachings of the New Testament. Listen to Colossians chapter 3 and verse number 17. And whatever you do, now I want you to notice the all-encompassing aspect of this. And whatever you do, do uh, in word or deed. So there you have it covered in that respect. He says, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now, I want you to notice we need Bible authority. We need the authority of Jesus for everything. He has universal authority. That means there's universal accountability. That means I need to be the kind of person that asks the question, what does the Bible teach? Now, we're going to be looking in a future lesson at the fact that Christianity is a religion of the intellect. That doesn't mean that it's cold and sterile, but it means that it engages the mind. God does not want us to do things merely because they feel good, but because they are good. He doesn't want us to do things that are contemporarily popular, but things that are consistent with his will. Real revival, a real awakening begins when one individual decides, I'm going to humble myself before God's word and I'm going to recognize the authority of Jesus and I'm going to submit to it. Join us again for your daily 180. Revive.